Well, this May 1st, I don't have any flowers for you, but I do have meteorologist Allison Pryor live in the Storm Alert Center with a full look at your forecast. Allison? Well, we should over the next few days get some rainfall that's going to help more flowers grow and bloom. And if you need to mow the lawn, probably get it done tomorrow because it'll be wet weather helping that grass grow by the time we get to Monday and Tuesday. Here's what we're dealing with right now this evening. Just a few high thin clouds streaming by generally blue skies, gorgeous weather once again for the evening time temperatures in the 70s through about sunset and then dropping into the 60s. Here's the next system that we're keeping an eye on. Now all of this is going to move up to the northeast tracking into our area, but not really coming into play until tomorrow night, which means mainly dry weather for your Sunday. So I would say still keep your outdoor plans. Just know we'll have cloudy your skies. Here's a look tonight about 830 PM. You'll notice a lot of places in the 60s outside the city, but the core metro area still around that 70 degree mark. As we go through the nighttime hours, that mostly clear sky, but this is positive about 3.30 in the morning. You'll begin to notice more cloud cover moving through. So by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, it's probably going to be mostly cloudy across the area. Now during the daytime tomorrow, mainly dry conditions, but yes, there is a little bit of green on here with Bifurcast. We may have a spotty sprinkle during the daytime tomorrow. It's not going to be a big deal unless you absolutely can't get something wet. It will be minimal rainfall, like a few raindrops passing on by and that's it. By about noontime, temperatures already in the 70s, low to mid 70s. We'll have wind coming out of the south about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Your highs tomorrow afternoon, upper 70s, maybe even hitting that 80 degree mark in some places. And again, that spotty little sprinkle chance, but it's going to be very few and far between not until about eight o'clock tomorrow night. We're really going to be able to see that rain starting to move and across our area. So when you see the seven day forecast, I'll have 30% on there, but that's really going to be for Sunday night. And these hit and miss showers and storms will increase in coverage after midnight through the early morning hours of Monday. And then look at this about 830 AM Monday morning, some heavy rainfall potentially from Chattanooga up to Cleveland. So probably going to be uh, slowing down that morning commute on Monday in certain spots. Now these showers and storms will be hit and miss for Monday, but they're going to be there. So at some point you're probably going to get some rain and look at these warm temperatures getting up into the 80s for most locations for the day on Monday. As we head into Tuesday, a little bit of a break. We're going to give you a little bit bigger picture look here. Not a whole lot going on during Tuesday morning, but once again, as we get closer to Tuesday afternoon, evening time, as that cold front nears our area, more scattered showers and storms are going to be popping up across our region. We're going to need to watch both Monday and Tuesday for the potential of some isolated strong to severe storms. We'll let you know if we end up doing a storm alert day for those days, but look at this Wednesday morning still seeing some of that rainfall. That cold front will be passing over us Wednesday morning, so the latter half of your day on Wednesday, nicer conditions. So the potential for stronger storms. Also, we may have some isolated flooding. So total rainfall from this event, Monday, Tuesday through Wednesday morning, about an inch to three inches across the area. So if you get those locally higher numbers to three inches, that's when there could be that flooding potential. Of course, today it was all that sunshine, so no rainfall at all. 79 degrees is your high today after a low of 50 this morning. Pretty close to what's normal for this time of year on May 1st. And of course, no rainfall. We did end that month of April below in rain, and we're starting the month of May because we had no rain today, also below. So we need a little bit of rain. That'll be good news for our area over the next few days. Highs from our sky watchers, mostly in the 70s, 79 in Lakeside to North Chattanooga to Cleveland today. But we did have some spots in the 80s, 80 in Calhoun, 83 in Somerville, and 81 in Scottsboro. Up to the north, we had 77 in Riceville, 80 in Dunlap and in Pikeville, and then 82 today in Murphy. Overnight tonight, pleasant evening, mostly clear skies as clouds increasing later on. 54 for that low in Chattanooga, 50 in Blue Ridge, and 48 in Murphy. And then here's your forecast for tomorrow. Mostly cloudy, mainly a dry day. 80 for that high in Chattanooga, and 77 in Dayton. So for your seven-day forecast, again, Good weather for outdoor plans tomorrow, just more clouds compared to today. But Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday morning, certainly going to be active with that rainfall. Joy.